They're wiping out small businesses. The numbers show it. The trillionaires, the billionaires got trillions richer and the essentials became more essential, more merger and acquisition. Going back to the taxes, they'll get a free ride. We'll pay. Let's bring it home now for the investors watching. Um, Gerald, you you know, we're talking about an economic boom, reco uh, recovery, and then we'd see a, a potential stock market crash and correction, which I know you you've written about. I know I've asked you this in the past of how you've pr you're protecting your portfolio. I know you love gold. I know you love silver, but I want to ask if you've increased your allocation at all in assets like Bitcoin. Um, I, I, I I'm curious Bitcoin because you know a lot of people see Bitcoin. Sorry, you know you know as as a symbol of freedom of decentralization, of course. So I was wondering if you have since adjusted your position. No, I haven't bought more, and they could go. They you know they could go to the moon, but we put out a cover the Trends Journal last year. They're going from dirty cash to digital trash. Okay. And what that means is they're going to start telling people we don't want this dirty cash and we're going digital. China is now, we've been writing about this since they began doing it. China is going to go completely digital. Right. right. All right. Now they know every penny that you spent, where you spent it, how you spent it. So they get your money as politicians. They don't have to work. They're getting your dough. And now they could also track everything that you're doing. And that's part of the whole game here. But I, yeah, I'm now, so far, Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Now, when they go digital, yeah. when China goes digital, you're going to start seeing other countries going digital. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to want competition. And they're going to wipe out, to me, they could blow out Bitcoin like that. Okay, interesting. That's why I'm mentioning they're all going digital. They don't want competition. Interesting. So that's why you feel safest with assets like gold and silver. Yeah, and I have enough of the, the other... Ethereum and and I bought them, you know, 2017, you know. So, uh, but I I still think there's a place for them, but it's a wild card as I see it, because they're going to they're going to ban them. They're going. Okay. They don't want competition. Hey, remember they just had a thing. They weren't allowed to celebrate it. It was called Easter Sunday. <laughs> they locked down Italy. Think about it. The Prince of Peace. Jesus Christ becomes violent when he picks up a whip to drive the money changes out of the temple. The money changes, right? The banksters. What happens? Hey, a couple of days later, the Last Supper, and right after that on the cross. Four days, three or four days after he takes the banksters out of the temple, he's on the cross. I mean, I'm not making this up. That's the way the story goes. So what I'm saying, they're not going to want any competition. One of our covers is you got money junkies and drug dealers. That's who's running the show. So the biggest threat to Bitcoin for you is China. It's central banks. Central banks. Like that. Look what they did like that. They locked us down like that. They'll do anything like that. Hey, go back to 1933. Turn in all your gold. I'm FDR. Turn in all your gold. We're taking your gold. But you don't think gold confiscation would happen no. again? No. Okay. No. But I'm just saying they'll do anything. Right. They're taking, they've taken okay. complete control of our freedom. It's gone. Yeah. No, I'm, 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 I'm surprised, but I, I'm happy you, you explained that because for me, I know you're a freedom fighter. You love freedom. And like I said, for many, Bitcoin represents the ultimate freedom. Um, but I understand your, your concerns here. Yeah, they, they don't want competition. Yeah. I got you. So let me ask you this. In a portfolio, what are your feelings about holding cash? Because I understand your distrust of, distrust of the government, of central banks. Um, so I'm not asking you to reveal your personal portfolio, but, you know, cash via V gold. How do you balance that? I, I'm, I'm, uh, I would say eight to one in gold and silver. I think silver is going to rise faster than gold at a higher percentage. And they're going to do everything they can too to keep the, the markets. They want gold down. They don't because when you see gold going up, then you know how bad it is. And here's the other thing. Gold is going to take off when the real inflation numbers start coming out. The, the guy I look for, for real inflation and unemployment numbers is uh, John Williams at Shadow Stats. You know, he has the real yeah. deal there. 
and they're going to have to raise interest rates. When interest rates go up, the phony markets are going to go down. What's only holding up the, the reality of the, of the fakeness of the economy and how bad it is to so many hundreds of millions, poverty rates are skyrocketing around the world. Childhood poverty on and on all over the world, it, it's hitting. What's, what's keeping the, the facade alive are the rising equity markets. When the equity markets crash, then the reality on Main Street will become real. It's real now, but people are, they're whitewashed by it. So when the markets, that's why they will not let the markets crash. They will do everything they can to artificially prop them up. What are the PE ratios now? Well, over 22, 23 to, right? I mean, they're, they're, they're off the wall. And, and so they're going to do everything they can to artificially prop up the equity markets, but they're not going to be able to do it forever. And the, and the forever is going to end with rising inflation rates, followed by raising interest rates. And uh, just one final point. I know you like physical possession. I mean, I'm sure you've seen all the chatter of uh, regarding unallocated accounts, um, you know, chatter from with the SLV and the Perth Mint, and is the silver really there? And is it backing pool accounts and unallocated? That Does this just make the case stronger to own physical? Yes, but again, you know, on the other end, I bought ETFs. Okay. And I bought ETS for tax purposes, you know, putting my retirement. But I, if I bought physical, I couldn't do that. So I took the gamble on that. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. I really appreciate your, your thoughts today and learning more about your uh, investing philosophy and, of course, um, just in general.